Let's talk about Wells and Septic. Listen, w- way to open it up with a saucy topic. Wells and Septic, let's do it. So this is something where people are going to run, run into it more when uh, they're looking to purchase homes on larger amounts of land, you know, on multiple acreage. Normally, it can I happen like on small I like big lots land. and I cannot lie. Um, what are things that people need to know about Wells and Septic? What are potential issues that people need to know about Wells and Septic? What are some of the plus points about Wells and Septic? Great. Five. So like seven questions <laughs> rolled into the no, one No, it's there. only three. What do people need to know? What are potential okay. issues? And what's the good stuff? All right, here we go. Uh, the good stuff is that you're more in control of your system, right? So there's been a movement towards uh, independence, freedom, off the grid type of stuff, right? So if I've got a septic tank, I'm not, I'm not at the mercy of city water, city sewer, uh, any mainline breakage, that type of deal. Now, I do also now have to maintain my entire system, so there's the other side of that coin is one of the negatives. Um, is there a, is there a big cost to that? It's not significant, certainly compared to the built-in cost that would uh, be tied to uh, the billing and the, the payment you would make on city sewer. No, it's not significantly more at all. So it the, does save you money in the end? It does. Now, here's where you know the complexity rolls in. If you try to save too much by not spending a little bit of money to maintain that, then that could catch up to you, right? So if you don't have frequent inspections uh, and check you know, leach fields and tank quality and capacity and things like that, then you could have a bigger problem. And now you could, it's, it's like any other form of deferred maintenance. So the answer is uh, positives, a little bit more independence uh, and a quicker installation. You don't have to tie into the city. Negatives, yeah, some regular maintenance and uh, ongoing expense. Some people view it as negative because there's just a, a, a like a connotation with sewage and septic that it's gross and disgusting but when it's done correctly it can be clean and done appropriately whether you uh, have a drainage field or a leach field that can all be done in a very clean and and and, and uh, appropriate manner um the other part of the question you know kind of where and how is all this done it is done more often on homes on land uh, if you're in a neighborhood in the city you're almost never ever ever going to have septic uh, or a well and I'll talk about wells more here in a second. Uh, but when you're a little further... What if, I was going to say, what if you're further out in a neighborhood? Does it become more well, common in those It instances? does. If you're outside the city limits and you're, say, in a one acre per lot community out in the country, not necessarily large lots, but outside of the city limits uh, where you have kind of zoned planned developments, uh, you might have everybody on a well or you might have folks on a shared well. There's actually parts of North Texas right now where development has been stalled because the developers haven't been able to get a well in fast enough Mm. for developers to be able to put homes in place because they operate off of a shared well. Well, Uh, well, well, that's not Well, 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 looky what we've had here. Now, the reality is water matters. Turns out you really, really need it. And in the further out you get, the more likely you are to be dependent on a will. Well, now for an individual family in a well, huge positives, right? Initial cost or negative, you're going to spend quite a bit of money to install a well. 5000 to 15000 for most people. It can be done cheaper, but it can also be done for a lot more. Once you've paid for that well outside of a motor and maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of electrical cost just to maintain a pump and things, uh, you really have no additional ongoing water cost forever and ever and ever, especially if you're getting all the way down to good, clean, potable water. So I could talk a lot more about that, but there's the, the basics.